Okay guys, boot device not found. Okay guys, uh, very quick solutions uh, for boot device not found. So if you are getting this error for any desktop or the laptop, you can follow this tutorial, the short uh, and the quick steps. So very first thing, uh, you got to find out the way to enter the BIOS. The different laptop has a different function key to enter the BIOS. Once you enter the BIOS, somewhere you're going to find this uh, legacy support. So here I have a CSM support. Um, somewhere in your BIOS, uh, in your laptop, you're going to see the legacy support. So the arrangement, uh, uh, different BIOS uh, set up uh, for the different brand laptop might look different. So here you can see, uh, it's a, in some laptop you're going to see like this, it's a UEFI legacy boot is both. I'll choose uh, legacy only. And you're going to reboot your PC. Sometime you're going to choose both. So if it is a UEFI, you're going to change it to legacy only. Or you're going to choose both. Sometime you will not have options for this. Either you have to choose legacy or UEFI, so you're going to choose legacy. Sometime what you're going to see, you'll see like uh, here I have a CSM support, you're going to see legacy support. It needs to be enable or disable options. So if you see the legacy support is disabled, you're going to enable it. So I don't have that option so here. In some bias, uh, you're going to see like that. Here is enable options. Likewise, you see, if you see here the legacy support, you must enable it. Currently, it is yes. So different arrangement. What I'm going to tell you in this video is you have to enable the legacy support and then check uh, and then boot your PC and the error should be gone. Now you need to press uh, the F10 uh, key to save it and then you're going to boot your PC now. And finally your system uh, should be working fine. You must be able to boot your PC and your PC should be working fine. So that's all.